Hello, my name is Ken, and I want to welcome you back to Deep Water. This podcast is brought to you by Applied Strengths Ministry, where we believe working together in our strengths is the effect of working out the will and calling of God in our lives. The title of this message is Two Seeds, Two Trees, Two Fruits. This is a multi-episode series in which this is episode 5 of 5. So we continue with more fruits. The fruit of lies. Hosea 10.13 You have plowed wickedness. You have reaped inequity. You have eaten fruit of lies because you trusted in your own way, in the multitude of your mighty men. Ministry fruits, Matthew 3, 8. This could also include fruits of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance. Romans 1, 13. Now I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that I often planned to come to you, but was hindered until now, that I might have some fruit among you also, just as among the other Gentiles. James 3, 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy, fruit of multiplied fruit. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. 2 Corinthians 9, 10. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food Supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Hebrews 12:11. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Discipleship fruit. Luke 8:14. Now the ones that fell among thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life and bring no fruit to maturity. Now before I move on, did you hear that? Bring no fruit to maturity. Is not this the problem with our churches today? Anyways, Luke eight fifteen. But the ones that fell on good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. John fifteen sixteen. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give you. Kingdom Fruits, Matthew twenty one forty three. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a nation bearing the fruits of it. John four thirty six. And he who reaps receives wages, and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. John fifteen eight. By this my Father is glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Abiding fruit, John fifteen four five. Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Fruit of the Spirit, Galatians five twenty two twenty three. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Ephesians 5, 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. The tree of life fruit. Revelation 22, 2. In the middle of its street, and on either side of the river, was a tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. This is not a complete list by any means, but we see in reading them that it was not an accident that God created man from the dirt of his garden. We see that a deeper study of this word fruit may be helpful. We see that a deeper study of this word fruit may be very helpful in identifying the success or failure of our works, who has what seed, who is struggling, what we need to repent of, the power of our words, the measure of our ministry efforts, the urgency of being connected to the right vine. Oh yes, and even what we do with our money, even our first money. In finishing, and maybe I should have already been finished, but am I preparing a completely different message? God dropped this one so deep in me that I could not focus any longer on the first message, but had to go right into this one. May it bless and grow you. That's it for today and for this episode series. Remember, it's not what you find wrong or disagree with regarding these messages, but what you can take away from it. Together we can do more to impact the kingdom than if we work alone. 
Let's flip the script and kill, still and destroy the works of the enemy and create space for the light of light to shine through into people's lives. Plant a seed and click on the like and subscribe button. Let's build this ministry together. Thanks and see you next time in deep waters.